All right. Any team die? No. There can you kill the bird? Yeah, you can kill him. The manor. You can kill him. If you do, you have a better chance of getting one of those destroyed. Uh, positive quirks from him. Okay. Uh, so I need to start getting. I don't want to. I kind of don't want to fight the um, thing from the stars with level zeros. But I need to start getting our fanatic team ready. Uh, do we have a highwayman in here? We do not. I need another highwayman. Um, I could uh, make there be more people that come every week to try to get a highwayman. But I, I mean, we have some weeks. It's not super urgent. How the reruns been going? They've been averaging about 35 to 40 people. I mean, I'm mainly doing it because people wanted me to and so that they can lurk and listen uh, if they miss the daytime stream. So hopefully people are enjoying them. I haven't gotten a lot of feedback on the reruns. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're okay. They're nothing like a real stream, obviously, but... Bot seems to really like hitting... How many people hit themselves? Hum, hum, hum. All right. Got Misfortune we still need to level up. Slash, I'm not taking you here. We got Muzz that we still need to level up. Uh, Muzz, I might skip on taking you to this one. I need to bring a Hound Master to dodge tank for the Bone Commanders. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Forrester needs to get Hemophilia removed. Also probably should lock in Tufts in time. Uh, Raz could go. There's not a lot of Eldritch in here. Uh, Lunar. Lunar will go. Evasive Beast Hater. Got Mankind Heater. Ruins Explorer. Okay, so Ruins Explorer versus um, Dodge. We're going to go with Dodge. Woozy, you're gonna go to pretty much every friggin' dungeon. Unless you get a disease and have to sit out, you're probably going. Okay. Roast beef, onion, sandwich with mayo. As soon as you made it, it's not always the case. It's always the case. It's always the case for rakes. It's always good to him. My reactions aren't accurate, so I don't know about that. Uh, alright. Okay, we got... Yeah, you got rabies still. That's fine. Uh, Forrester, we need to get rid of hemophilia. And I need to... You actually probably get the curse if I do this. That's okay. Alright, we also want the curse on, um... Otto. And Grass Wing. So, grass, hopefully you get it from this. All right. 
Roast beef is acting like bread in the sandwich, probably. I don't like mayo, so it's, it doesn't sound good to me still. But. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm good with this. So we're going to dodge heavy on everyone other than Misfortune. Uh, so Ixum's going to wear his double cloaks again. Woozy. Probably the same, actually. Lunar. Um, Let's go with Candle and Camo. Yeah, that's fine. Misfortune, we need you to delete a back row enemy on turn one. So, uh, we are going to give you... Yeah, probably quick draw charm again. Focus ring would guarantee that you hit. Well, not guarantee, but make it more likely. Ancestor's pin would help you more in, case, in the damage side of things. Also, it doesn't neuter your dodge entirely. Uh, yeah, we'll go Ancestor. Miracle Whip. I don't like either, really. As an ingredient, if it's not like the main star ingredient of the item, like both of them can be okay, but I don't, uh, I don't like the taste of either. All right, Ixum, Stab. Uh, damage reduction, stun, heal, Lunar, good as is, Woozy is good, this fortune's good to go. Uh, as far as camping goes, we have Prevent Nighttime Ambush, we have Release the Hounds, we got Tiger's Eye, all that good stuff. Alright. Let's do it! Uh, upgrades, dodge trinkets, skills, camping. Uh, upgrades, dodge trinkets, skills camping, upgrades, dodge trinkets, skills camping, upgrades, crit trinkets, skills camping. Again, we're not going in for the loot. Loot's kind of a secondary thing, so we're going to overstock on uh, items here. Food, shovels, uh, you grab keys. Food, shovel, torches, keys, curio interaction. A little bit of blood. Do it. Another long champion. Holy crap. Everyone should dodge most things aside from our Crusader, but our Crusader has high health. And, uh, I mean, they still have, whatever, 20 something dodge. So they'll dodge occasionally, but. Can't rely on it with him. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Yeah, I actually skipped these two, but. Boring. Yeah. Do it. Some uh, chances at critical scouts. Probably camp here. All right, we'll camp here uh, for scouting, and then we'll head this way. A spark without kindling. Okay, so prevent night time ambush, extra scouting, and then we want to give accuracy and crit to our crusader, so hopefully he can kill a uh, backline enemy the light gains purchase, with holy lands. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Purpose is made clear. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Come on, let's get Doing all these extra champion dungeons? Uh, well, because we're not doing Torchless, I'm not as afraid of them. The reason I only did champion dungeons for bosses in the, um, uh, in the Torchless runs was because I didn't want to run into a lot of 12% shamblers, basically. 
Um, so the main reason I'm doing these are these are the long dungeons that are offered. Long dungeons push the meter more. And the more I can push meter, the more weeks that we save that I can use uh, if we didn't run into like the Fanatic or other bosses, wandering bosses or whatnot that we need to kill for the run. So yeah, that's Desolated. basically it. Plus we have like all the best um, dodge trinkets aside from Wilbur's flag. So it, it's pretty safe to run them, honestly. Like, yeah, we've had some death doors and some champion dungeons, but overall it's really hard for enemies to kill us because we have so much dodge. Like they're gonna hit maybe 20 or 30% of the time. And then if they, if they manage to hit, then they have to hit again. And a lot of times they have to hit three times without us being able to heal for them to even get close to killing us. So I don't know. I feel pretty confident with the, most of the champion dungeons as long as we have a decent team. Feels like we might as well do it. And because most of our crit tax, thank you, Ludar. Because most of our uh, characters are level five and six, we're mainly getting uh, champion dungeons spawning. So yeah, just a combination of all those things. As you know, when I was doing the uh, world Careless record run or whatever, no clemency uh, in this place. I only did eight champion dungeons. Well, I ended up having to do nine because we had to run away from the swine god, but I only went to the required champion dungeons. Dodge with light is a way to go in Blood Moon Champion. Yeah, absolutely. It's... It, we were talking about it earlier. Death, it almost feels like cheating when you have so much dodge. Like, it's just silly. Destroyed. Yeah, yeah, I knew what you mean. It just makes it so hard for things to kill you. Because in general, well, I mean, they have to get you to death's door, right? And there's not a lot of mobs, even in champion, that can get you to death's door in a single crit. So, but let's say you are against a mob that can get you to death's door in a single crit. Well, first they have to hit and they probably have like 20 or 30% chance to do so. So they're probably not gonna hit. But then if they hit, they then have to get their crit roll. And that crit roll is maybe on something hard and champion like 20%. So if they get the 30% to hit you, they then have to get the 20% crit. It then has to get you to death's door. And then someone else has to get through the dodge and hit them again before you get a chance to heal them. So it's, it's really honestly hard for enemies to kill you in um, when you stack dodge in the in full light. Obliterated. Dodge is wrong. I don't want to be right. Ringing okay, ears. so there you go. That guy got through our dodge. He crit us. The end approaches. But this guy couldn't get through it as well, so we're safe. And now we have opportunity to stun them or heal up or guard or whatever we want to do. Like if we want to be extra safe, I was guard. Now we have even more dodge. But we got a 19 heal anyway. So. Even if that guy had gotten through, we would have only gotten to death's door. There was no other uh, attacks that round. We have so much speed. We're going to go before them every time right now. And we have uh, multiple people that can get them off the door. It's just, it's just silly. It's silly. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. So, but Ashen, you still not have sounds? Uh, I'd like you to stress heal in before we kill this. surges as the enemy crumbles remind yourself that I'm not here for loot is I'm not here for loot and insidious loot killer. is secondary okay we got a scout good good not critical but whatever whatever Only when you plug them. Oh, what's your room? Turn into USB port. Not your adapter. So maybe the adapter is broken or something. 
Oh, that secret room is gonna make me throw down some stuff because I'm not I'm not walking all the way back there. It's all right. Um, we have camp buffs for two more fights, so we'll go through these. We'll camp for inventory space and get our buffs back up. Now that we don't want more curse, we're probably gonna get it. <laughs> we were like trying to get the curse earlier. Not here for loot, and then, yeah, secret room. <laughs> like, well, hello there. Are you sure you're not here for loot? That sucks. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. I say that a lot before we get a dungeon with like tons of loot. You know what we haven't had in a long time? Jute Tapestry. I really think Jute Tapestry. Uh, not only because in Torchless you get extra loot roll, but it really feels like Jute Tapestry specifically is way more common off those extra loot rolls. I get so many more of them in, um, in Torchless. Avoid all the things. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Yeah, let's not take the risk. Let's just stun him. And look, he did go next. What do you know? Can't crit kill. Stun KK, welcome in. Give them no quarter. Yeah, that is weird, Ashen. I don't know. New animation on dog treats? No. Is there, is there a patch? Not that I know of. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, absolutely cannot, Mike. <laughs> Let's go, Mike. A decisive bubbling. No, I don't notice anything different. Is this a boss? No, it is not. Well, <clears throat> These are just Crimson Court enemies. You've never noticed the animation? Uh, I, even after like two and a half thousand hours of the game, occasionally I'll notice some like small detail. Kind gesture. Lunar, I think for the crit tax. Lunar, you, you should be glad you weren't here during the run with, with, uh, uh, R squared that we did earlier. R squared had an 82% crit chance. How'd the shrieker fight go? It went fine. Um, we had 95% chance to dodge on the shrieker. And it managed to hit us twice with Peck. So driven into the mud. It kind of It's kind of annoying when that happens, but it uh he didn't crit Peck at least, so. Peck has a pretty high crit chance too. It's like 22% or something. Of course we weren't in zero light, so that helps. Oh, you're only paying for yours. Oh, I understand. That makes much more sense. You don't you don't pay for R squared. Oh no. Dodge. Oh no. A powerful blow. A singular strike. <laughs> Thing with the eight bits. Uh, play days gone yesterday. It's really good. Yeah, I, I still need to play it. I have it right over there. I'm still blind to it. I need to add that. Quickly, the time turns. Got crit. You'll pay for yours because you can't hit anything. <laughs> no. Uh, you're, you already fronted me for 2,500 points of damage, Doi. I think you're paid up for a while. Thank you, Gimme, by the way, for that. Minus 10% crit. No, I got to crit more, so Lunar gives me some more bits. Yeah, you see? <laughs> 24 crit. Uh, I should probably heal just in case. <laughs> Thank you, Lunar. Game, your feeling was right. Yeah. yeah I, I really do want to get uh, to it sometime. Is the engine plan on doing any? Yeah, this is like our 
15th levels. This isn't like our 15th champion dungeon or something. It might not feel like a champion dungeon, but it is. This is a long champion ruins. It's basically all we've been doing is long champion dungeons today. Precision and power. <laughs> they were the 24 bits. Still playing through it. Getting close to the end of the year. We require only the strength to follow it. Does healing crits count? Oh, he didn't crit there either. Sad times. Got the stun, so I'm gonna stall around. Might as well. We don't know. This little bit of stress that we're healing now could save us from a affliction or a heart attack later. So you can stress heal for free. You just do it. You'll find out if you critically heal. Man, your character just stopped critting. What's up with that? This expedition at least promises success. Um, I'll camp after that room. I think. All right, so we can get rid of Enlightened, Unquiet Minds, uh, Winded would be good. Look at this, Bad Gambler, Deviant Taste, Known Cheat. Can't gamble, can't go to the brothel. Winded is the only one that would be beneficial for us to get rid of. Hey, there we go, 25% chance, gone. Let's go on Mag, welcome back. Crit for 101 damage so far, I'll be fine. Yeah, I've done that before, Ashton, where you uh, you forget to add uh, to the playlist or it's in the wrong order. It's an easy fix, at least, though. Uh, I can't let the Bone Lancer get a a hit off. If we, can, if we can keep from it. So we're going to work on killing him first. Uh, we can easily heal the stress from the Bone Royalty. There we go. Dead. But we can't let the Spearman get an AoE crit on us. Things are in fix. Can upload the ending. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Lunar's not gonna crit anymore. She's done. Good thing you're not misfortune right now. Alright. Yes, rediscover the secret room. Thanks. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Mune. One. Mune two. Mune three. Mune four. Mune five. Six. We get six hunger procs. So we only need 24 total food, worst case scenario. All right, uh, we're still gonna get scouting up. Scouting is very important. And we're gonna put these action crits on our Crusader again. The They're being audited. <laughs> a blazing star I mean, we're gonna throw the keys down in a second, so I might as well use one here. 
A handsome reward for a task well performed. This game's being awfully busty today. Just wants me to collect busts. I need portraits. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, screw it. Planet safe ish. It went back in the room. <laughs> That's uh, kind of annoying. Oh, I should have opened that with, before I turned the torches on. I gotten a little bit more loot from that. Oh well, probably had thrown it down anyway. Then Kel, welcome in. Awfully busty. Uh, so again, our kill target's the Lancer. Hopefully we'll stun the Sharpshooter. Or we can just stun both of them, hopefully. Even better. Nope, never mind. We just won't let them attack at all. That seems like a pretty good idea. Another radical strategy, but... Uh, killing the enemies before they can kill you. Seems, seems good. Oh, our crusader went really slow. It's because of the quick draw card. Now. We got this done, so we don't even need to stall though. So should probably just kill him. I'm so used to stalling at the end. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates. I mean, I can trade busts for fall. portraits, but. Okay, as long as we kill the ancient spitters, uh, we'll be all right. One down. Two down. Oh, what was that crit that Lunar's got? I didn't see the number. Probably 24 again. Mortality and we got web crit, but the spitters are gone, so. Why? I mean, Vi can still crit for quite a bit. It's not seeing as spit, though. Spit's nasty. Oh, yeah, no worries. Someone is feeling festive. Hand gambler is feeling festive. Uh oh. A kind gesture. Was it 31? Thank you, Lunar. Thank you for the bits. In radiance, First squad, I mean, it's better to do as fast victory. as you can the story mission or wait until you can't avoid to do it. Um, I mean, it's been a long time, but I think we avoided it for quite a bit, Tio, uh, in order to get more resources. But. Yeah, I mean, my full playthrough of it's up on YouTube. I don't know if you're already checking it out on there. But, uh, it's yeah, it's hard for me to remember. Because we played it when it first came out, which was April Seize of last year. Momentum. So it's almost been a year. Push on to the task's end. Almost a year. Bot is mediocre. Rust Crabble wins Punch and Ricks. Is 
Resisted. Resisted. Turn left at the dead guy. Real money getting paid. Real money. Oh, I think there's a worm in there. He's getting paid to play with balls. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's missing a word. Our community grows. Uh, arc. Arc thing with the follow. Breath Edge? No, I haven't heard of that. It's kind of like Subnautica. But in space. No, I've not heard of that one yet. Only the dead can lay down. That's just science. Our modest fellowship expands. Hey, Ark. Praise the sun. Ark, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Very much appreciated. Can't say this tier one sub, so financially supports the stream. Helps me keep streaming six days a week. Thank you, Ark. Appreciate it. It just came out two days ago. No, I haven't heard of it. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Mm. Guess we dodged it. A generous bestowal. Lunar, in a dungeon now. This will have to pay the next you. What are you playing, Lunar? Give me the hundred bits. A dungeon. The extraordinary percent of rooms actually works. Would have guessed that you have to extraordinary percent or more. Seems like less than is already enough to fill the quest. Um, I think it also depends. It also counts the secret room in long dungeons. So I don't know if you're you're applying that as well. But generally. In a long dungeon, I think you can, what? As long as you find a secret room, you can ignore three rooms. And a mediums, it's two rooms or something. Short. It's one? Yeah, I don't remember exactly. It feels more like a fixed number than it is a fixed number that you can ignore rather than a hard percentage. You haven't played the stone shard prologue? It's good. I like Stone Shard. Oh, right. Right. Wow. That's right. You told me that. Crap. You need sustenance. Have no food. Unless you leave a lurk. Cars thing with a lurk. Oh, no. Two shots getting a disease here. We have 68 dodge though, so. Prologue's free to play. Yeah. Prologue's good though. Prologue gives you a taste of uh, how the game is. Kinda sucked. Uh, it allows you to use a lot of the skills that you won't the be able to get right away victory. when you start a real game a after the prologue. Uh, you get to do a boss, learn the basic mechanics of the game. Prologue for uh, Stone Shard is good. Well, that sucks because we won't be able to Holy Lance. Yeah, it even has voice acting, yep. And the main game does it. I know. When I uh, first started playing through Stone Shard blindly on the stream, um, I was actually commentating about about the exact thing when we were going through the prologue. I was like, man, this is really awesome. Everything is voiced over. It's like, that is incredible. And then after the prologue, it's not. And I felt cheated. Yeah. Same thing. Like, wait a second. <laughs> I wonder if they are going to voice over the rest of the game. Because they still have, what, like two years on their roadmap or something? Year and a half, maybe? Something like that. Reverse Divinity. Reminds me of, uh, it's still in Super Access, but it reminds me of, like, a lot of the mobile games, right? 
like Raid Shadow Legends or something, like the tutorial in the beginning, everything is like high quality voiceover, everything. And then it just kind of stops after the first like three minutes. Jolson had no voice acting outside of cutscenes. Might play some more days gone. Passion and voice for VA for literally every bit of narration and dialogue. It's crazy. I really like it when games are voiced over. Although it has gotten annoying occasionally. I don't remember what game it was, but we had a game where even the codex uh, that you got were voiced over, which it, I mean, that's a lot of effort, right? But I usually read the codex on stream when we play. And so I opened one and I went to read it and then it started reading it and it was reading it much slower than I would have. So I was like, all right, I guess we have to wait for this guy to finish. And I'm already throwing rubies down. I should probably just get rid of that soon. Play Witcher 3 has made you realize how much you miss completely voiced over games. Yeah, it's a really nice thing. Uh, I guess I'm all right not having the codex, though. All reads me. Was it Mass Effect? It might have been Mass Effect that voiced a lot of the codex. I think you're right. For example, it was Final 7. Whole thing is text, so you had your mind voices for them. Heard the voices used in the remake. It sounded wrong. I can, I can understand that as well. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Well, I have two torches left. Otherworldly corruption. Uh, I'm gonna have to start using the light move from the Crusader so that we don't get uh 12% Shamblers. This is not a good team to be fighting a champion Shambler. Use a shovel on that, but I need to save them. <clears throat> Use Holy Water there. Yeah, I might as well. Let's go ahead mid. Welcome back. How much more food do we need? One immune, two immune. So we actually can't get rid of food. Okay, we're over zero light, so. Friggin' maggots again. At least we kill all of it when the same. That can be only three. Oh, they actually got a hidden. Rock is the yeah, lower light. You got more accuracy. As victories mount, so too will resistance. All battle, okay. Uh, we got two torches. I feel like lower light should give higher chance of surprise. You get a higher chance of being surprised, yeah. Like maybe it should, I don't know if it should work both ways. It's like a 50-50 chance, one or the other. Uh, we don't need the shovel, right? Oh wait, we skipped that room. All right, be careful. There's still a chance. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this Monster place. seen the dock. The party cannot. Oh my god, another set of these friggin' maggots. Uh, 
I should have just that one, but whatever. No guts, no glory. I just rather not see my guts, you know? Probably she got torchlight. Light since advice to be blinded by the bright light. That's true too. Well, another thing, like speaking about light and games, torches and stuff. In real life, if you have like if you're carrying a torch or a lantern, you cannot see very far because your eyes adjust to the light that's right by you, and you can't see anything in the darkness. But a lot of games, like torches, end up being more like flashlights. Uh, yeah, it's a really good thing we found that secret room. We are not doing that fight, so let's just head on home. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry. Are How do you think about a monster using a lighthouse? Hello, mustache cream. Night owl. Never use it. Hey, deadly is a good pickup. Way better than spiritual. Spiritual does nothing for us right now. We have an only kind of sucks. All right, let me split the recording. After uh, you see a cat, he's coming. Because I have my camera moved over more into the corner, so you have to come closer. You're gonna be on my head. No, he doesn't want on my head. I forget to snap out my fake flashlight a lot. Sure. All right, let me split this.